mist. Sheepdog tales. It is the end of an autumn day on Butter Farm. The cobwebs glow copper under the setting sun, and all seems peaceful. But the flock are far from calm. They are frightened, for there is a mean, miserable stray dog on the prowl. He comes out every night to worry them. He barks in the darkness. He howls at the moon. He growls through the fog. Petey, is that you? And he scares them silly. Petey! That didn't sound like Petey. They call him the Beast of Burra Farm. Air mist. If you were out last night, you'd have been missed in the mist. Do you get it? Missed in the mist. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> yes, Uncle Jake. Very good. I know. I'm great at name jokes. I am like um, gale in a gale, storm in a storm, drift in a drift. <laughs> fern in the fern. No, that's rubbish. Now. This may seem a silly question, but I don't suppose you two have heard some strange howling recently? No. no? Oh, well, I have. I thought it might have been Ernie, but it sounded too wild, even for him. Oh, here he is. Ernie, have you heard anything strange? Only the sheep. They're scared out of their fleeces about some weird dog in the fog. I told them it was probably Jake. This sounds fishy. Come on, Jake. Let's go and speak to the ewes. I've just spoken to you, but I know. Let's go speak to the sheep. Good idea, Uncle Jake. I'm full of them. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Oh, Foggy! Thank goodness you're here. There's a dog in the fog, a beast in the mist. I'm absolutely beside myself with fear. No, you're beside Wendy. You can't even tell yourselves apart. Please. We need to get to the bottom of this beast. <laughs> she said bottom. Vanessa, Beatty, Wendy, I, I need you to think very carefully and answer my questions. First question. What time did you hear the mystery beast? Now, let me think. I heard it at about dawn. Eleven o'clock. Would have been about midnight. That's when I saw it, standing at the top of the hill against the black sky. Against the glittering stars. Against the full moon. And it had a funny sort of bark, sort of a ruff, ruff, kind of a growl, growl. And it went, oh, just like that. He was at least the size of a panther, a cow. An antelope. An affluent. Uncle Jake? Sorry. So, let me get this straight. It was the size of a Doberman, a cow and an antelope, and it barked, growled and howled at the moonlit, pitch-black, starry sky. Ooh, you saw it too, then. Oh, dear, this hasn't been much help. Oh, thank you, ladies. But you will find it for us. Promise you will. We'll hunt high and low until we've solved this mystery. Hmm. High and low, you say? Mist, I'll see you back at the farm. Jake took Mist's words to heart, hunting high and low. So, first he hunted high and found the tallest animal he knew. Hello, Helen. How's the weather up there? Pretty chilly. <laughs> now, I was wondering, have you seen a... You'll have to speak up down there. Have you seen a beast? Eh, what? A mysterious beast that's been scaring sheep! Scaring the sheep, you Oh, yes! I saw a large, shifty-looking hound just the other day. Much bigger than any of you lot. Aha! Thanks, Helen. Nay, 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 no trouble at all. Having had some luck hunting high with Helen the horse, Jake next decided to hunt low. Now then, now then, what's the lowest animal I know? Aha! I know! Stender seal! Little flapper! It's me, Jake the Sheepdog! Hey, hello! Have you fallen down the cliff again? No, no, no! I've just come down to ask you a question. How 
do we get rid of the beast of Borough Farm? That's not a very nice way to talk about your auntie farm. Oh, not her! No, there's this macky girt old creature roaming around the size of a big Ojima flip, scaring all the sheep so they're all do daddy do la la loo her. I see. So what can we do about it? I have no idea. But the wife will know. Christina! You call? Oh, two of yous? Blubber luscious. Morning, dear. Did you have a nice breakfast? No, it was awful. Oh, why's that then? Not enough fishies around? No, too many. I was trying to catch one when all of a sudden a whole school of them got together and swam straight at me. I was scared out of my blubber. You see, Jake, on their own, fish look small and harmless. But when they swim together as a team, they look big and frightening, like a killer whale. And that's exactly what you need to do to scare off your beast. Oh, I get it. Brilliant! Oh, missed! 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 I know how to get rid of the beast! Spender Seal told me! What did he say? He said that on their own, the fishes look small and silly. But when they all swim together, they look really frightening. Like a killer whale. Ah, oh, I understand. So all we need to do is find a killer whale. No, Uncle Jake, I don't think he meant that. Oh. Mist explained to Jake that they needed to make the sheep stick together in one enormous flock. This way, like the school of fish, they'd look much more frightening than on their own. The Borough Farm sheepdogs gathered anxiously at dusk, ready to hear Mist and Jake's plan. So, here's the plan. We round up as many sheep as we can and drive them straight towards the beast. I can take him on my own. No, no, Ernie. It's a good big un. I heard it straight from Helen Horse's mouth. <laughs> You think a big dog like that will be afraid of a few sheep? Yeah, because he'll think they'll be a killer whale. Well, they'll certainly look a scary sight. Well, that's the plan. Are we all ready? Ready. Mum? Ready. Fern? Ready. Jake? Black and whitey. Where's Mum? Oh, she's orangey. Auntie Swift's going to be our lookout. Any sign yet, Auntie Swift? Nothing. Oh, 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 wait. Yes, yes, I see him. There! Just above the headland! Yes, that's it! Come on, everyone! Let's go! Woohoo! Off we go! Hey! Where are we going? The dogs spread far and wide, gathering every sheep they could find. They drove them out of the gorse, down from the peaks, and up from hidden cleaves. Each extra set of clattering feet or bleating mouths would help the gathered flock look as fearsome as possible. Sheep by sheep, you by you, the flock grew and grew until it became a great thundering cloud of wool and hooves. Remember, I'm a killer whale. Oh, shut up, Jake! I can see it! <gasps> oh, no! It's time to be brave, girl! Let's show this beast what we're made of! That's the spirit, Vanessa! We're doing it! We're doing it! The stray dog had never seen anything so frightening. With hundreds of screaming sheep running towards him, he had no choice but to flee back to his own home, whining and whimpering like a puppy. We scared him away! Wool power! Yes, we did it! He must have felt as puny as a poodle with that lot going lumping towards him. Yes, as tiny as a terrier. As wobbly as a whippet. As weak as a chihuahua. No, that's rubbish. That was a wonderful idea, Mist. It was Uncle Jake's idea, really. That's right. I've got friends in low places. <laughs> but I suppose the sheep are the ones that beat the beast in the end. Oh, dear. I hope this doesn't mean the ewes will try that flocking trick on us, too. Of course not. They'll have forgotten all about it by the morning. 
The flock returned to their grazing, happy to be free of the beast. And sure enough, by daybreak they had no memory of it whatsoever. Life was back to normal on Borough Farm. And we'll be here again to see Miss Dawn Windcutter die.